Cheers of relief from a control room in Texas after Intuitive Machines, a private company, successfully landed a new spacecraft near the moon's south pole. After two hours of tense uncertainty and a nail-biting long-distance software update, the landing cemented the return of the United States to the lunar surface, over 50 years since the Apollo missions ended. Today, for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. A modern moon rush is on. Just over the past year, India and Japan have both landed probes on the moon. China has had rovers there for over a decade. But Odysseus is the first privately built craft to make it there. It may look like a moon mission, but it's really a delivery service. That is where NASA pays a company to take our equipment, our science to the moon, down all the way down to the surface and get our data back. But this is the company's mission. They go off and make their lander. They buy a rocket. They design their mission. They get all their communications set up. We are just a paying cargo customer, really, just as if we were shipping a parcel to somebody's house. It can carry about 100 kilograms of material and provide 600 watts of power to the devices it brings. On board are the first tools to settle a planetoid, a moon GPS station, reflectors for future moon navigation, and moon fuel gauges because it's hard to keep track in low gravity. It also brings other items from paying customers, a flying selfie cube to film the landing, a textile from a clothing company to learn how to keep things warm in space, and a sculpture by the artist Jeff Koons. For seven days, Odysseus will send data back to Earth that will pave the way for the moon rush that's coming. There's so much more that we have to learn about the moon. Uh, everything from how it formed to the technologies needed to have people survive on the surface of the moon. Um, so there's so much science and technology that we still have left to, to learn at the moon. We need to get NASA's the, goal is to establish a permanent lunar base for human voyagers we'll and eventually a launching point for Mars. But the U.S. is also hoping to start a space-based economy in which United companies Mars compete Alliance to be part of the journey. Rocket. The government-funded Apollo missions were worth about 2% of the country's GDP at the time. Half a century later, Odysseus cost just $100 million, a high-risk investment that seems to have stuck its landing. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.